Billy the Artist here, and so far we have done Homer Simpson, Bart Simpson, and Lisa Simpson, and we're now going to do Marge Simpson. So we're going to crack on with that in a second, but these are nice and simple, easy, and quick drawings to do using felt tip pens and pencil crayons. I'm using these to show you a quick way of drawing using shapes, but I also do other cartoon characters in the Secret Life from Pets in the How to Draw playlist. If you like and subscribe, I'll be adding more and more videos through the year. But there's over 90 already, including the Life of Pets, and there's the Boss Baby. So this is how to draw a person type of image. And every single one, whether it's from Inside Out or any of the others, Woody from Toy Story, they're all there. I all use shapes to draw pictures and portraits. This was a quick portrait sketch that I did of a comedian named Bill Bailey who I went to see and I have no idea where I have put the flyer. Ah, there it is. So there's the flyer. I went to see this guy. So you always find inspiration anywhere. I thought that would be quite a good image to do for a drawing video. And there's a how to draw and you can see this, this actual drawing took me 24 minutes. So it's the same as when I do something like of the boss baby or Max or any of the others. So just so you can see the techniques, but if you check out the portraits playlist that's in the cards along with the how to draw and how to draw anything part one, they're all there. You'll see also in the portraits playlist, very, very highly detailed portraits that I've done of a baby and people like Ed Sheeran and Cheryl the singer and Doctor Who. So go and check them out. But now we are doing Marge. So let's crack on with it and let's get to it. Now this one, as you can see, is a little bit more complex because Margie's amazing beehive hairdo, the amazing blue beehive hairdo, takes up so much space. But don't worry about it in that it doesn't matter whether it's a full head one like these or a little bit of a body like we did with Lisa. This <clears throat> is just as simple even though it seems more complex and there's more to draw. Again, just look at what's on the screen and then think of it in shapes. So we're going to draw a line down the middle like we did with Lisa because this is a little bit more complex. And we're going to draw a line across the centre so that gives us a reference point straight away. Now we can see if we look at Margie's face down here we can see that really there's a box and I'm drawing these fairly light and then there's going to be another box that's her right ear and then the neck comes down and that's another box and then we'll just draw a kind of banana shape there a little half ellipse and that'll be a necklace and then we want a rectangle coming off there which is her arm and then we need another box shape there which is going to be Margie's torso and the top of Margie's dress and then the final line that's going down for her arm. Now we also need, we'll put a couple of circles in because these are small enough to put circles. I did boxes at first but you can see the kind of size that they're going to have to be. So Margie's eye is going to come to there we will put a little rectangle in for Margie's nose and that can be a bit bigger, just the circle for Margie's eye. And so we've got now most of Margie's face and head and shoulders down in this bottom right hand corner. Now if we just draw here a huge rectangle, that's Margie's shock of huge hair. Now you can see all the little patterns. Again, you can then just turn it into a bit of a curve. The kind of swirl pattern, the cloud pattern of a hair all the way around. You can count these and we will as we just do this. And then that goes around the back of a head there. You can count the numbers of the swirls as they go down. But as you can imagine, when Matt Groening did the cartoon, he just drew them like clouds like a big cloud or a big thought balloon so you can do that or you can copy as I'm going to show you here because we've got the actual space to do it 
So we've got one there, and then we're going to have another one. So I'm going to count down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down to Marge here. So if we do that, we know that we've got other points in between. So we've got one about there. So we'll just draw a little loop there. And we know then we've got two spaces to fill. So you can do that one there, and then that one there. And then we know here we've got three between this one. So you could draw the middle one, and then you can draw those. Again, you can do the same going all the way around. Here, coming off the top of this one, you've got a little loop and then another loop, and then you can do another loop, and then there's another loop going over there, and then you're coming around the back. That one stops there. So you can just flow, <clears throat> do either the put one in the middle and then fill them in, or you can just kind of flow like this, go in the loops, looking, look at your image, and then follow it round. Then we've got another one, and then another one, and another one, and then another one to about the center line point that's there. And then we can just do another longer one, and then in that's in between Margie's eyes, we can then do a smaller one, and then a larger one, then a larger one that's going to come around her ear, and then the one that goes around the back of her head behind her neck. So now we've got this necklace, and this is shaped going all the way around. So if we put a little circle in there and then you know you've got three going around the outside and you can see that there's the depth of field so you've got another full circle <clears throat> next to the middle one another full circle next to the middle one going towards the left shoulder and then you're getting the depth of field so it's not a full circle it's hidden behind that one and again the one at the top so again this one is just slightly hidden behind there and then we've got that final one going there and that gives us the top of Margie's shoulder. Now we need to put in Margie's pupil which is just off centre of her eye and then the ones here is slightly higher on the left eye than it is on the right eye just a tilt of Margie's head and then finally we can then bring down a little box there for Margie's lower lip and we know that the edge of Margie's mouth, the smile line, is going to be down there. So that's very quickly, very lightly, you can see that we've drawn in Marge. So now, oh, missed some of Margie's hair going up above. So again, you've got the same <clears throat> set of curves. We've got the top of the box, nearly missed that. So you've got one going there, and you've got one going there, number three, number four and then on the top of her eye that makes Margie's eye there and you can see her mouth is going to come out this kind of triangle here it's going to come out on the side and we'll fill all of that in in a second and then finally you've got two there so now I'm going to grab my marker pen and we're just going to fill in really quickly now I'll start with the eyes put the pupils in and then we'll just do a circle. Remember, if you've got something that's the right size, you can draw around it, that's not a problem. Then we'll do Margie's nose. So there's Margie's nose in, and then we can do Margie's other eye. And now what I'm going to do is fill in her hair, and then the hair going down to the left eye. And now we're going to do the beehive. We're just going to do the beehive one after another. Follow the lines that you've already put down. And just let it flow. Because you've already put your construction lines down. And that goes all the way around. Now Marge has got eyelashes like Lisa. So you can just put them in. There's another one, there's another one, the, fourth, the third one goes in her and the fourth one sticks outside. Now Margie's ear is a letter C. So you can just do a capital C. And then inside is a bit of a bent wobbly T again. So you've got Margie's side of her head and then a neck coming down. And you've got the side of a smile. And now we're going to follow this shape around. 
which is a nice curve. And there's Margie's mouth. Now come down halfway underneath the nose, you've got a bottom lip going down to a neck. Now we'll do the necklace. Do the middle one, the one next to it, which is going to be full, the same on the left. But then these ones give you depth of field. They are hidden, partly hidden. So there's Margie's necklace going around the neck. Now finally we'll bring down a left arm. And remember you've put all these construction lines in. Right shoulder, the inside part of her right arm. Now you can do the top of Margie's dress. And there you have Marge Simpson drawn nice and quickly using, even though it's very complex and there's a lot more shapes, <clears throat> or it seems that way, using basic shapes, you can actually put down a very complex image. So here I'm now erasing all of the construction lines so that when I colour it in with the crayons in a second, it won't. smudge my pencil crane and the colours won't get distorted. So again I've got my pencil cranes, I'll start with the yellow and you can just fill in the shapes nice and quickly. <clears throat> and this is Really simple, remember you can either use felt tip pens or pencil crayons, it doesn't matter which. But with pencil crayons you have a little bit more leeway because you can press on harder, you can mix the colours. Whereas with felt tips you could be limited in your choice of colour. So, and you can't mix colours, so if you put yellow and blue together with a pencil crane you'll make green whereas it won't be that easy with felt tips just because of the way felt tips are. So there's Marge coloured in, we want orange for a necklace and again you could even use paints if you had a little paint set for Christmas, poster paints or paints in tubes you can fill in with paint and you can take your time or you can rush around as much as you would like. Now she's got this kind of very light green. Now again this is with a pencil crayon and I'm pressing on very very lightly. So even though you can see the pencils moving as quickly as it was with the yellow I'm pressing on with hardly any pressure at all and that way it fills it in. Now I'm going over it again just to darken it down a little bit. This is a bit of an olive colour that I've got here. Marge has got a bit of a, it's a bit of a green dress so I can get a bit of a slightly more zingy green. I can fill that in and I can make the colours match. <coughs> That's really really good whereas with a felt tip pen you're stuck with the colour that comes out and you can't get much gradation like that. Now we have Marge, Marge's blue hair. Now again I'm going to start with this one, see if this works. And I'm just filling in really quickly and this is a bit of a lighter blue. Again if you've got felt tip cranes you might have a darker deeper blue straight away whereas with pencil cranes I'm just filling in to see if that works but that's not quite dark enough so I've filled in all the way across but I can then choose a darker blue. I just need to sharpen it. Remember I use a bench sharpener. Let's 
so now I've got a bit of a darker blue ah that's better and that's the thing with pencil crayons <coughs> as well you can always add more felt tip pens you put one color down that's pretty much it whereas with pencil crayons if you start lighter you can actually add color and make it go darker like this and so you can experiment with colors and shading and tints with pencil crayons which you can do with shading and gradation in, in just pencil drawings which I show you in the other how to draw videos again I'm just filling this in nice and quickly again all together this has been just over 12 minutes so far and that's pretty good going for what looked like it was going to be a complex drawing so again don't be concerned or afraid of drawing some people say oh you know how do I make it fit on the paper that's why I've shown you drawing that cross and then using the shapes so there you can see Marge I'm going to use one more this is a slightly darker blue so I'm going a third blue down oh yeah so now we've got three layers of different blues working together to color Marge's hair a big blue beehive that is iconic for Marge's character out of The Simpsons. Anyway, I hope that this has encouraged you to pick up your pencils and your crayons and your felt tip pens to have a go at drawing your favourite characters, but work along with this and try some more of your own. But do please check out the How to Draw playlist do like and subscribe and enjoy the other Simpsons characters and all the other ones in the playlist. Thanks very much. Enjoy your drawing. Take care. Ta-da.